With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, students. The question says, how many of the following plants have an association with rhizobium? And the given plants are it, uh, sweet pea, lentils, garden pea, alpha alpha, alnus, frankia, soya bean, clover, beans. All right. So we have to see how many plants mentioned over here have an association with the rhizobium, okay? All right, so if we talk about rhizobium over here, so rhizobium is, rhizobium is gram-negative, okay? It's a genus of bacteria. Genus of bacteria that is associated with the formation of associated with formation of root nodules and where on plants okay now they live in symbiosis with the legumes they are uh, where do they live they live in symbiosis with legumes And they take in uh, nitrogen from the oxygen. Take in nitrogen from the atmosphere. Okay. And they pass it on to the plant. All right. And symbiosis means that both are benefited. So the bacteria is also getting benefited as it is taking the nitrogen from the atmosphere. And then the plant is also getting benefited at, as it is passing on the nitrogen that is taken from the atmosphere to the plant. All right. So now if we discuss about the options of, uh, given over here, like the plants given over here, which have an association with rhizobium. So first we have to see what all plants belong to the legume family because these ry rhizobium are in the, like they live in symbiosis with the legumes, right? So if we talk about sweet pea over here, sweet pea, so it belongs to which family? It belongs to legume, okay? Lentils. They also belong to legume. Okay. If we talk about garden pea, garden pea also belongs to the same family that is legume. Now, alpha alpha, belongs to legume. Now, if we talk about soya bean, Soya bean is also from the leguminous family and clover bean. Clover bean also belongs to the leguminous family. Now, if we talk about the other plants that are mentioned like Alnus and Frankia over here, right? So, Frankia is basically a bacteria. Okay. And Alnus is non-leguminous it's not a leguminous plant it's non-leguminous it's non-leguminous plant all right so alanis and frankia do not belong to this category now, this Alnus and Frankia, they both live in association with each other. Okay. So, in the, in the question, it is asking how many plants have an association with the rhizobium. So, we can count over here. It's 
one, two, three, four, five, and six. So from the given options, option number first will be incorrect, that is five. Seven, no. Eight, no. So option number two, that is six, is the correct answer. So from the given plant, six plants are associated with the rhizobium over here. All right, because the rhizobium lives in symbiosis with the legumes, and these plants or these all six plants belongs to the leguminous family. I hope I have solved the question. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and neat level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.